Hi guys, David Stone here again with another daily Living Fearlessly episode. I think that's what we've decided to call it. We'll see where that goes. Anyway, what I want to talk about today is this whole notion of giving and receiving. And a lot of us love, I mean, we've heard it, uh, we've heard it said so many times, it's better to give than to receive. But I want to address that a little bit because a lot of us have trouble receiving, receiving gifts. We love to give, we love to give and uh, be generous and kind, but there are a lot of us that actually struggle with receiving. So let's talk about that a little bit. Um, one of the things about giving and receiving, if it's better to give than to receive, if you're a giver and there aren't receivers around <laughs> to receive your gifts, you're in trouble, aren't you? So that means that for every give, there has to be a get. And that would make that the giving and the getting kind of equal, wouldn't it? Because if you wouldn't have people around to give to, then you're stuck as a giver, aren't you? And the, the receivers are the ones that are receiving a gift. The giver also gets a gift, the, the ability to be and the opportunity to be generous. But I want to think about the receiving side for a little bit. Um, one of the reasons that we struggle a little bit with being the receiver of gifts is that it makes us feel a little bit beholden, doesn't it? It makes us feel indebted. And we don't necessarily like that feeling. When you are the giver, and you're the one that says, here, I'm so generous, there's a little bit of an ego kick to that, isn't there? You know, I'm so wonderful, and I'm the one that gives. There's a little bit of a superiority piece going on to it as well. And that means that, uh, you know, I'm in a position to be able to give. Aren't I wonderful? Aren't I uh, fortunate? And that's great. But when we give with any of that tinge of superiority or that, that tinge of um, being in a power position because I am making your life better, that kind of clouds the whole thing. And so what we want to do is, is work at being able to be as much of a receiver as we are to be a giver. The other problem with uh, receiving or the challenge that we have is there's this piece of us that says, I'm not really worthy of receiving. I don't feel that I am good enough to receive gifts from others. And that's something that we also want to get over, right? We want to get let go of the whole thing that I'm somehow not worthy. You are completely and utterly worthy. You're worthy of this entire universe. You're worthy of that sun that's shining down on you today. You're worthy of whatever prosperity you're enjoying. You're worthy of the food that's in your refrigerator. And you're worthy of any gifts that somebody might want to give you. Now, a gift doesn't have to be an object. It can simply be a compliment. You know, there's a, an area that we struggle in, isn't it? You know, somebody says, you know, well, how are you? It, it's so nice to know you. My, you're looking good today. Or, uh, you know, that was a wonderful, I really enjoyed spending time with you. And they're offering us, it's a, it's a small gift. And what do we usually do? We usually try and deflect it a little bit. Oh, no, it was nothing. Well, yeah, it is something, you know. And so let's learn to accept the gifts that are given us. Because if we don't have any receivers, it's hard to be givers. So why don't we practice being as much and as talented at being a receiver as we are at being the givers? You know, if that's an area that you're struggling with at all, or if that, um, you know, twinged any thoughts in your head and you want to talk about it, please reach out to me. Get in touch with me. You can see the number right there below and the you can where you can get at, uh, my email address where you can reach out to me. I would love to talk to you about that. But that's it for today. We'll be back with you again in the next episode of Living Fearlessly. Bye now.